This is called the banded stretch for posterior glide of the hip. So to understand the stretch well, you want to know that the, the hip joint is made up of the acetabulum of your pelvis and the femur. And the, the femur needs to move posteriorly every time you take a step, every time you're going to flex that leg so that you can bend at the hip. Um, a lot of times it gets stuck and that's a part of impingement and it makes it real stiff or painful at times. So this is a great stretch to be able to pull that femur back as you're inducing flexion. So you're, want, you're wanting to be secure to a band, wrapped around one leg, stretch out the front leg, the back leg is straight. From here, once you've got an established nice tension, you're taking your knee and you're going across the body. So you're allowing for internal rotation of the femur. When you've got that tension and you're internally rotated, you're gonna add 10 little circles. So you're going around and around, allowing for motion in that hip 10 times one way. And when you're done with that, you're gonna stop and you go 10 times the other way, gently getting motion into the hip, having it nice and flexed, having that tension, pulling that femur back as you keep it um, in this flexion and motion position. From there, once you're done with those 10 circles, you're gonna make your knee go neutral, go straight. And then this one, same thing. You're gonna add in 10 circles, nice good flexion, just straight flexion, uh, no rotation, going circling it one way. Once you've done 10 circles this way, you're gonna go 10 circles the other way. Once you've done those two sets, then you're gonna go and push the knee out, so this way you're getting external rotation of that femur, and then the same thing. 10 circles one way, stop, 10 circles the other way. So that allows you to get a really good pull in that hip, or um, getting that to have better motion in that hip. Once you're done with those two, two sets, you're gonna come on up. You're gonna keep the legs straight, and you're bending only at the hip. You might wanna reposition so that you have nice tension there. And then you're just reaching out in front of you, and you're oscillating back and forth for 10 times, trying to find any sticky spots and, and loosening them up, just going back and forth with that femur and that acetabulum. Once you're done with that, you're gonna come up and you're gonna to go to the side of the pole. From here, again, reestablish a nice tension. You're gonna bring your leg out. The back one is behind you. And you can bring your leg, your knee across the body. Again, now you're getting that internal rotation. You're gonna do 10 circles one way. Once you're done with that, you're doing 10 circles the other way. And then repositioning it here. And now you can go and push that knee out and away. You're doing 10 circles with that external rotation. That one I think feels the best, and then the other way. And that feels really good, getting some good motion in that leg. Um, once you're done with that, switch and do it to the other side. This is to help with that posterior glide.